Do you ever wake up in the morning and find yourself in a complete rush? You just throw some clothes on and you end up feeling sort of blah and maybe even frumpy throughout the day. And then maybe you see another woman out and you're like, oh my gosh, she looks like so amazing. How does she have the time to do that? Well, in this video, I'm gonna take 10 minutes and give you the 10 best style tips that I teach my clients that I've been using personally. I've been an influencer and a stylist for over 10 years and these are my tried and true style tips. They work every time and they're guaranteed to make you look stylish in a hurry. Everything I am talking about will be linked down below in my description box. And as always, if there's ever anything on the expensive side, I will be linking a steel version as well because I truly believe that no matter what your budget, you should be able to shop on my channel. Now, for those of you that don't know, I am 50 years old and I am dating because I got divorced a year and a half. So I share some of my dating stories on this channel and y'all absolutely love it. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing a new dating story at the end. So if you're interested in my dating life, stick around for that because it's a doozy. All right, style tip number one is to tuck in your shirt. I don't care what size you are. In fact, I just styled a plus size woman. She is beautiful. And when we tucked in her shirt, it looked 10 million times better. We just did the half tuck. And this really does create a waistline, even if you don't have a waistline. It literally takes two seconds and I promise it will make all the difference in all of your looks. And if you don't want to tuck in your shirt, just wear a bodysuit then. That's something I do all the time. It's easy because bodysuits stay tucked in without you even having to tuck them in. There's also no bunching going on. So that's my personal favorite thing to wear underneath jackets. So if you struggle with that bunching thing going on on your waistline, choose a bodysuit like I have here. This is a fabulous bodysuit. I love this bodysuit. I think it's by Good American and it's amazing. It's very reasonably priced. I paired it under this under $100 black blazer and these fabulous gray Levi's, also under $100. All right, tip number two is to add a belt. So all the stylish women, all the classy women and elegant women always wear belts like eight times out of 10, probably nine times out of 10. And if you were to scroll through my blog or look at me on Instagram, so Heather blog, you will see that 9.9 .9 times out of 10 I have on a belt. Why? Because it elevates a look. It really completes an outfit. And I just think it makes the world of difference. And so adding a belt to your outfit, I promise will take it to the next level. I will be linking a few of my favorites down below in my description box. So this is an example of how I added a belt. This is a fabulous ivory belt that I've had for years. If you don't already own an ivory belt with a gold buckle, you definitely need one. And then I just topped it with this under $100 faux suede camel jacket. This is a great jacket that will transition you very well into fall. And then these are some fabulous high-waisted floor skimming hemline flare jeans that I promise will make your legs look crazy long. All right, tip number three, and that is only wearing one trend piece at a time. I see a lot of older women, or not older women, just all women, honestly, wearing like trying too hard. Maybe you're gonna wear like a mini skirt and like a leather bomber jacket and a high heel. Like that's too many trend pieces at once. So choose one trend piece in your outfit and make everything else a classic wardrobe essential and you will be good to go. So the trend piece in this outfit for me would be the denim bomber jacket. Yes, bomber jackets are trending really hard right now. This one is amazing. It's by Mango, it's like 60 bucks. So what a steal for such a cool jacket. I paired it over this awesome under $50 two piece set from Amazon. This set is so comfortable. It's like wearing pajamas. It comes in several colors. And because it's so comfy yet incredibly stylish, I own it in three colors. That's how good it is. Tip number four, this might be my favorite one of all time because it works every time and that is adding a third layer, AKA a jacket. I don't care if it's a denim jacket that like this one here or a leather jacket or a blazer, but I promise you ladies, adding a third layer to your looks is guaranteed to take it to the next level. So this is a great jacket. This is a utility jacket from Walmart. Yes, you heard me right. And trust me when I say it doesn't look like it came from Walmart. It's like 40 or $50, so very reasonably priced. Um, I love the way it looks with these amazingly slimming, high-waisted flares. These are by frame and they're part of the anniversary sale. And believe it or not, 
they're still in stock. Tip number five is to add a neck stack. So layer your necklaces, ladies, and wear a scoop neck or a V-neck. What this will do is elongate the top portion of your body, plus the necklaces will always add interest to your outfit. This is very easy. My recommendation is to pick one like favorite piece, one favorite necklace that you just wear all the time that looks good with all of your outfits and you just throw it on when you get up in the morning, this will allow you to look stylish in a hurry because you won't have to think like, does it match? If you just throw it on and you know it looks fabulous with everything. So as you'll see, I have on a neck stack with this outfit. These are my favorite necklaces. I have about three or four favorite necklaces. This one is my diamond tennis necklace that I throw on and then I never take this one off. It's like a teeny tiny choker. I really love it and sometimes I'll add my coin medallion that y'all see, but I'll be sure and link a couple of my favorites down below. But I styled my neck stack with this amazing under $50 olive cardigan. This one is from Nordstrom. It comes in like four different colors. It would be a great transition piece that will ease you beautifully into fall. Tip number seven is to learn how to dress for your body type. So you must know what your favorite aspect is of your body. So do you love your decollete area? If so, you should be wearing scoop necks and v-necks all the time. Do you love your waist? Is that like your favorite, most flattering part of your body? Um, like me, that would probably be my favorite part of my body. I sort of have an hourglass figure, so I love wearing things that show off my hourglass figure. Maybe you have fabulous legs and you love your legs. Well then guess what? You should wear more shorter skirts and shorter dresses. That's okay. But if you're gonna show your legs, then always cover the top portion of your body. And that brings me to the next tip, which is know the ABC rule, which is accentuate, balance, and camouflage. So accentuate is what I just talked about. Knowing your best features and really how to highlight them. Balance would be you know, creating balance in your outfit. So if you're showing skin on the top, you wanna to cover the bottom portion of your body and vice versa. This will allow you, like I said, to create balance in all of your looks. And camouflage is just like it sounds. Maybe you hate your legs, maybe you hate your arms. Well then wear clothes that sort of cover up that portion of your body. So for me, like I said, I love wearing bodycon dresses because it allows me to show off my waistline. This is a fabulous under $50 dress from Amazon. It comes in like 10 different colors. It's just an easy throw in and go dress. And for the price, it's literally a no brainer. All right, tip number eight, pay attention to your shoes. I can't tell you how important your shoes are. They don't have to be designer. They don't even have to be expensive, but they have to sort of look new. They have to be high quality and they have to be interesting. And if you can do it, a heel is always gonna look better because it's gonna make you look taller. It's gonna make your legs look longer. That's why 99% of the time, I always wear heels. So these are my new favorite heels. They're $40, yes, you heard me right. Can you believe that? They're from Macy's. I can't even believe how inexpensive they are. And I know I'll be wearing them a ton right now and into fall. And I think you will be too if you decide to grab a pair for yourself. Tip number nine, and this is a really important tip as well, only wear clothes that make you feel confident and make you feel like the best version of yourself. And you might be like, Heather, I don't really know what clothes I like to wear. You do. You just haven't sat still enough in your clothes to see if you really like how you feel. And if you still don't know how you feel after sitting still for a few minutes in the morning, see what outfits you wear and when you get the most compliments because your energy doesn't lie. So when you're wearing something that you feel good in, I promise you will get more compliments in that outfit because your energy will be upbeat and so definitely just pay attention to that. Whatever lifts your mood, whatever makes you feel better, that's what you should be wearing more of. And number 10, the final style tip is pick three words that identify your personal style. And then every day before you get dressed, ask yourself, do these clothes or does this outfit make me feel like these three words that I want to embody when I get dressed every day? So for me, my three words are confident, classy, and courageous. What are your three words? Whatever they are, list them down below in the comments because I always love hearing from y'all. So anytime I get dressed, I ask myself, 
Does this piece of clothing make me feel confident? Does it make me feel classy? And does it make me feel courageous? And if the answer is no, I don't wear it. It really is that simple. I even wrote these words on my mirror in my office in lipstick. It's a fun little mirror exercise that I do share in a meditation. I'm actually gonna be creating a course soon that's gonna have meditations and journaling exercises, obviously many style tips as well. I will be launching that in probably a month or two. So stay tuned for that. And let me know down below in the, co in the comments if you would be interested in purchasing a course that not only teaches you how to dress, but also build your confidence, build your self-worth and your self-value. Okay, let's get to the dating story. Well, I matched with this guy on Facebook, so I did just download, well, I already had Facebook, but there's a feature in Facebook where you can activate the dating app. So I thought, you know what, why not, I'll try it. So I matched with this guy, and what I like to do is within the first like 48 hours of us bantering, texting back and forth, I make sure that they ask me to have a phone conversation. If they just wanna keep texting past the 48 hour range, I'm not interested because I don't want a pen pal and I don't need a texting pal, right? So this guy passed that first test. He said, hey, would you like to speak on the phone tonight? And I said, sure. So he called me, we talked, and here's the question that I always love asking on the first conversation when I have with a guy, okay? And that is this. And it will tell you a lot about the person. It will tell you how emotionally intelligent they are. It will also tell you how honest they are and if they've done any personal development work. So I always say, why did your last relationship end and what did you learn from it? And here was his answer. His answer was, oh my gosh, well, that's easy. It was my first wife my ex-wife and she's a crazy witch, but he did not use the W, he used the B word. You know what I mean. So I was like, oh my gosh, my jaw hit the floor. Like I can't even believe this guy would call his wife, his ex-wife that. So that speaks volumes because he didn't own his part in why the marriage fell apart. So that means he hasn't done any personal development work or if he has, he hasn't learned anything. And secondly, he was obviously verbally abusive to her and that is something that I will not tolerate at coming from my background and already enduring a lot of that in my previous marriage, I'm not gonna do that. And so that was the hugest red flag and I immediately just decided I'm not gonna go out with this guy. Obviously, he hadn't asked me out yet. That phone conversation lasted about 45 minutes. We got off the phone and um, I just decided, you know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and block him because I don't even wanna take the chance of him wasting my energy anymore, right? Like I know in a million years I would never date this guy because of what he said about his ex-wife. So I'm gonna just take my power back, I'm gonna block him and never talk to the guy again and certainly never go out with the guy again. And what this is doing, ladies, is I'm making room for the right guy to come along because I know my guy is out there. My Mr. Marvelous, my soulmate, my lover, my everything, I know he's out there and I know that God will bring him to me when the time is right but only when I make room for him to come in. So let me know down below in the comments if you agree with me, if you agree with the fact that I blocked him, and if you think a man calling a wife that name, calling his ex-wife that name is a red flag, also let me know because I a thousand percent believe that. Now, if you're dating and you find this information useful, share it with a friend that's also single and dating um, because that's really what I'm gonna start doing is I'm definitely gonna still share fashion information with y'all but I'm also gonna be sharing these fun dating stories because I think it can help y'all. And that's why I'm here. I didn't go through what I went through um, for just like for fun, right? I went through the pain of, of leaving that marriage, the 15 year long marriage that was toxic and, and unhealthy and now I'm dating and I really wanna be more vulnerable and share my journey with y'all because that's why I'm here. So I love y'all so much. I wanna thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. For more style information, you can head over to my blog, soheather.com, or book a confidence-boosting style session with me. Those are very exclusive, very VIP, and they are down below in my description box as well. And on Instagram, I'm so Heather Blog. And if no one has told you yet today, you are beautiful, you are worthy, and you're amazing just the way you are. I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.